Bruno is our special puppy. The dog is adorable. When he was just weeks old, we knew something wasn't right. Bruno broke two of his ribs, and so I, we took him to the vet. They said that he'd have to be put to sleep at that point. This was eight weeks ago, and he just got better and better and better. Now he doesn't stop. He's defied everything that we were told. He definitely thinks he's one of the big dogs. He has no fear. Where's Bruno? Where's Bruno? Little Bruno is gone. I don't know where he is. I'm getting a little bit worried. Fred! We have very few litters a year, DDK, but this year we have a very special one. Annabelle and Netflix have had a litter of puppies, and they are beautiful. The puppies are about 12 weeks old. Some of the dogs will go off to clients. Some of them are going to go to my franchises. And I think we have one, one left that needs to be sold. And that's it. The most expensive one that we sold from this was 45000 there's a few different things that kind of factor into the price. One is, depends on who the parents are. So any puppy that's directly off of Hulk is gonna be more expensive, given the fact now that he's neutered and only has so many breedings you know, stored with him before they're gone and then there's no more Hulk puppies. Also, color, size, conformation. So the most expensive puppy we ever sold was a Hulk brother for around 150,000. You can get a, you know, a Honda, there's a diamond dozen. You know, or you can go out there and you can get a Lamborghini or you get a Ferrari and you know, you pay for it. People want dogs from us and the price reflects that. We love the puppies and we always have a lot of fun, but it's not all fun and games. We have to be serious sometimes and um, gotta get the bubbles out. So we got the kids a bubble machine the, other, machine. Day. <laughs> the other day and I uh, thought it would be a really fun thing for the kids and the puppies to do together. So Bruno is still trying to figure it out, but I think he likes it so far. So Bruno's actually from a previous litter. Uh, he was born the day before Annabelle and Netflix's puppies were. He is from Rogue and Amazon. At four weeks, they knew something wasn't right. He wasn't walking. He kind of just scooted backwards. You could feel his chest was almost like pushed into his armpit. So we brought him to the vet and we did x-rays and found out that he unfortunately had been laid on at some point by mom. She broke his ribs. The overall consensus wasn't looking the greatest. It caused his spine to kind of curve. They said at that point that there would be a gross birth that would just be too painful and he'd have to be put to sleep at that point. This was eight weeks ago and he's gone through many gross births since four weeks old and he's never had any signs of pain. He just got better and better and better and he was walking and he was running and now he doesn't stop. He's defied everything that we were told. He's not painful in any way. He's a little psycho. He's like, yeah, you want to go? You want to go? Give me this thing. He's going to need a lot of physical therapy. There might be like when he gets into more senior age, a little bit more pain management. But at this point, there's no pain. He's going to be fine. Lisa doesn't think he's cute, but... Lisa doesn't think he's cute. Shut the f up! She doesn't think he's... She doesn't. I don't know. Lisa, for some reason, said she doesn't think he's cute, which I think is absolute hogwash because the dog is adorable. What did you say something like that? <laughs> God damn it, Marlon! Marlon goes on and on and on about how he's the cutest puppy he's ever seen. He's so adorable. I'm like, he is cute, but we've had a lot of puppies, and I wouldn't say he's the cutest over all of them, but he is cute. He knows that. He's like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, now you want to take him and pretend. I'm uncomfortable right now. <laughs> When you single out a dog that early on, they can cause problems amongst the pack because they have a different mentality, and I'm guilty of that with him. So now he's a little bit of a little little gremlin. My plan is to make him a quality, respectable dog, just like the rest of them. Come on, let's go. Look at all these dogs, that. Oh my God. So the really important part of raising dogs is you know, mixing them together and getting them to be together. So matching energy is really important. Drake, leave him. Drake's gonna get his ass whooped. Mommy, yeah! Let's go, come on. So we brought some of our biggest dogs here at DDK on the pack walk. We have Hulk, Kobe, Max, Stella, Drake, Albert, and Bruno. He definitely thinks he's one of the big dogs. He will keep up with them. He has no fear. He will, you know, bite one of the big dogs if he doesn't like what they're doing. He does not care about anything. Hulk, come here. Old guy. Come on, my boy. 
Oh, I, I felt a little water. Come on, let's go. Where's Bruno? I keep track of Bruno there. Where's, where's Bruno? He was with Jackson at one point. Okay. Down. We're up at the top of the mountain, got all the dogs out, and I turn around and little Bruno is gone. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where, I don't know where he is. I'm getting a little bit worried. Bridge! Oh, I see him. Hey, Bridge! See, what are you doing, Dick? Thank God we found him. It turns out he was just lagging and got distracted smelling a bush. Come on then. Yeah, you. Come on then, big guy. Yeah, you guys like lost me. All right, everybody get in. Let me get a drink, Raph. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's the dangerous way. No, no, Drake, come on, you gotta send it, my guy. This is the same exact scenario as Raiden with the balls. It's a situation that he doesn't understand. He's never done it. But once he gets across, he'll be able to cross again smoothly. He's trying to find every way that he can get around without getting wet, without getting wet. But there you go. There you go. Good boy. It's really important that you do not help a dog in those situations so they understand that they can get through it themselves. As you guys may be able to tell, I like shiny things and chains and stuff. So my dogs tend to wear the same stuff. So Miguel is coming up from Big Dog Chains, another one of our partners. He always brings some really exciting things for our dogs. Kiss your jeweler, Hulk. Come on. All right, Hulk. Hulk got a new chain today. Looks amazing. You know, he's uh, Hulk's got the most chains of everybody, but looks amazing on him. And we got another one to add to the collection. But I got something for the little guy Bruno here, man. Oh. He got his own collar here. Oh. Come on, Bruno. Check this out, buddy. That is awesome. Uh oh. Oh, oh he's part of the club. He's got his own. Check him oh. out. Oh, Bruno. So we got all the dogs out. We got them all on their nice new chains. Got them lined up. I wasn't sure if he was going to have something for Bruno, but. Even little guy got some today, so everybody was looking great. Everybody was having a good time. So it was a good day today. It was a good day. Hey, old girl. Hey there, old lady. This is Hulk's mom, Gianna. She's 12. What is it in dog years again? Seven years? Girl, you're 84. He's like, oh my God, all these people in there here to see me. They're not here to see my son for the first time. I really, truly, actually like love dogs. That's the problem. I just love dogs. Once a dog weaves its way into my heart and we spend a little time together, they could offer me 200K, 300K, a million, and they'll stay right where they're at. My dogs are bar none the best in the world. The whole idea for DDK was to rise with them together, and that's what we've done. It's securing the future for my kids and securing the future for my dogs. We have even more goals to reach. I'm just really excited to keep going. Oh my God, the future for DDK is insane. We've never been so primed to be more successful than we're about to be. I am stoked for the future.